Hey everyone, so this isn't a video I wanted to make. Honestly, I wanted to give YouTube a chance, but to be honest, I think three years of a lot of people saying the same thing is enough of a chance. I wanted to talk about my journey through YouTube and why my noble causes and hard work trying to entertain and help people who have to live with ASD get through their so the social issues being caused by things such as stereotypes and it's almost like racism in a way, the way people look down on it. But at the same time, it's not. I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like unintentional racism. And I know that's a big word to be throwing around. But... This, um... So, anyways, that is what I've been trying to fight. I've been trying to fight these stereotypes and outlandish ideas. I guess I shouldn't say outlandish, but uh, misinformed ideas that autism is a disease. It needs, it's just something that makes you inferior, all this. And um, I think trying to spread the message about that as someone who lives with ASD, who has suffered because of the way people view it, all this, I think makes me a credible source of information. I also do my research like with my video on people, famous people with autism, to show you can still be successful even if you're autistic. But here's the thing. My cause of entertainment and uh, helping people, these are my goals with my channel, I consider them noble goals. I consider these very noble goals, especially because I don't even use it as a career. I don't use it to make money. I use it exclusively for these two reasons. And I have been losing motivation to make content because well, YouTube has not been very good to most of their creators. And no creator is really immune to these issues. I've seen videos on these issues uh, done by, for example, Osmongold and um, a few others I can't remember. A But uh, there's also been videos on this from literally every gun and community of the sword channel ever that I've seen. There have been statements about how YouTube is picking favorites. And, like, there's nothing I can really do to prove it myself. But they are playing favorites. Uh... You hear about, like, I've heard of, uh, I've heard the term the Act Man incident thrown around. I don't know who Act Man is, but I'm guessing he's someone who's been hit by YouTube pretty hard. Um, my friend, 
they have actually lost their channel because YouTube outsources a lot of what they are supposed to be doing to their bots. And then you have me, someone with noble goals, tr working their butt off to try to entertain, trying to grow, trying to help people for three years. Three years I have been doing this. And what do I have to show for it? 106 subscribers. I have 106 subscribers and a really good friend. Which doesn't, like, it's great that I met my friend. It's great that uh, I met them. It, but the, the main thing here is that, sorry about that, is I can't seem to grow. Even though I'm working my butt off to try and expand my channel so I can entertain people and help people. So if I'm really trying everything I can with my limited equipment, if I'm trying the best with what I've got, how am I stuck at 100 subscribers after three years? It's YouTube's algorithm. Okay, so... The algorithm is basically their way of playing favorites. They don't... They don't notify people, even who have the notification bell on, for their own subscribers. And a lot of the recommendations people get are... very... Um, They're very different than what a lot of people are actually looking for. Okay? And it's like... YouTube used to be good. It, it did. I don't know exactly when it started, but from what I hear... It started before COPPA. It started when... Google bought YouTube. And, like, I can see why Google being a big company, they would outsource some of it to the bots. But when we're talking about someone who's had a very legitimate issue and needs to talk to a real person, like, for example, when somebody makes an appeal, This is something you can't just give to your bots. And quite often, when somebody has to make an appeal, it's either due to someone else going after them, or a bot screwed up. Which is something that happens. They're machines. They're not perfect. Humans aren't either. But... Humans can pick things out better than a bot can. And there's some things you just can't leave to the machines. There's some things that need a real person. But then, so what does YouTube actually do that isn't just Sick their bots on it. They play favorites and control the algorithm so that only the people they want getting views get views, get subscribers, get likes. This is what happens. This is why people like me, some friends I've made, can't really grow. Um... Like, the, 
I've revamped my channel to try to fit it closer into what I can do. A couple of times. And I get literature isn't a big thing you find on YouTube. But, like, I've seen people working with worse equipment than I have. And putting less effort into their videos that have more subscribers. And I want to say, I don't care about being popular. I don't care about having a lot of views. In the sense that I'm trying to be famous. I'm not. Okay? What I'm trying to do is tell my story and the story of many other people living with ASD to try and help their lives get just a little bit better. On top of that, I'm trying to entertain people. All I'm ever trying to do on YouTube. But YouTube seems to not like the idea of trying to just be there for people. Because no matter how much effort I put in, I can't grow past around 100 subscribers. The first time I hit 100 subs, I was really excited. Uh, for me, that meant the world because it was one of the first good things to happen in my life. I, I was excited. I made a special for it. And I stayed stuck there. For close to three years now. In the beginning, I grew very fast. In just a couple months, I got to 100 subscribers. Then it just... And then my channel just went completely dead. And... The only couple more subscribers are people I know. Now, here and there I've gotten new subscribers. I get those notifications. But a lot of notifications I don't get. And that's the big thing. Between YouTube controlling the algorithm in their search and controlling people's notifications, they're controlling what people actually see. And... It's damaging people who have actually good intentions. This is why when Utreon is a bit more accessible to the public uh, to make channels, I will be moving to Utreon at this rate. Right now, while it's in the beta, I don't find it worth it to jump through all the hoops in order to maybe have a channel when not even a lot of people know about it yet. But Utreon could be the YouTube solution. Anyways, this is what I wanted to say. YouTube has been abusing their control over the algorithm for at least three years. Now. At least. And it's not going to get better. Unless YouTube changes a lot. The question remains though. 
Will YouTube finally wise up, fix things, save themselves, or will Utreon take over? I'm really hoping YouTube can fix things, but at the rate things are going, it's looking more like people are better off starting over on Utreon once it really gets going. So, yeah. This is why I haven't been uploading. I just... I'm losing motivation because... At this point, it feels like... What's the point? At this point, I just feel like... What is the point anymore? At most, a video is going to get 20 views... And it's not going to raise my subscriber count. My literature videos don't even have hardly any, if any, views. Like, two or three. And it's like, I'm trying here. The only videos I've ever gotten all that many views on... Or my Katana Misconceptions video, which is around 100 subs... Uh, not subscribers, viewers. Last I checked. And a shout-out video, which got shared by the creator of the channel I was sh giving a shout-out to. Which got few hundred, but it's like, that only got so many views because an already way bigger YouTuber shared the video. So, this is what I wanted to say. The reason I haven't been uploading is I just am losing the motivation. I've seen videos like this done by other people and even reactions to such videos. Example is Osmongold. Um, I've heard of the Act Man incident. Don't know who Act Man is, but I've heard that term thrown around. I'm guessing he was also hit pretty hard by YouTube. I see people losing monetization, losing their channels because YouTube doesn't address the real issue. They leave it to their bots and the bots say, for example, this person said such and such. Uh, the video violates our TOS. Please take it down. That's a lot of what is happening. Now, that's not what's happening with me. For me, I'm a victim of the algorithm. And I can't get views. But a lot of people that are getting the views are getting absolutely destroyed by... Bots doing all the moderation of YouTube instead of real people coming in when real people are needed. I'm not trying to go after YouTube, but I'm trying to warn both YouTube and other people what they're doing is having all these negative impacts and where YouTube is headed. I'm ho What I'm hoping is that this video can either help to get YouTube to fix the issues or will inspire people to join the fight and help make YouTube realize what is really going on. 
I didn't even touch on all the issues in this video because I don't want it to be too long. So with that, I've said my piece. And I appreciate all of you who listened for this 20-minute video.